he didn't speak to reporters after the game, but Carmelo Anthony did. Melo, of course, made a pretty strong statement against the officiating a few days ago. Apparently, he doesn't want to ever get into that again because he said after the game, quote, I am done with them. I am done with the refs. No disrespect, but I am done with those guys. I, I don't know if you play in the NBA if you can be done with the refs. I'm not sure that's his decision to make. I do get what he's saying. He's fed up with talking about it. I, I mean, look, I think there were five. I mean, there were a bunch of ejections yesterday. It, it feels experientially, even though Adam Silver says it's not up, it feels like there's a lot more technicals and ejections. Where do you feel like this relationship well, is right now? Yeah, Jackie was talking about this. A lot of the uh, refs nowadays, they have a lot of new referees who've been in the league four or five years. They're young. And so they haven't developed that relationship with the players yet. And you, you know, they once they, you gotta understand players react. Mm -hmm. And the older refs who've been around, they understand that. They give them a little bit of leeway. Where these young guys are just, no, oh, I'm not taking that. Right. I'm not taking that. And it was like that when I first came in the league. When you had a lot of young refs, they were quick to to give you the technical. And as they got older and they learned the players, they gave them a little more leeway. And they was, you were able to talk to them a little bit more. And that's what you're seeing. You're seeing the influx of new referees come in, and they're quick with the whistle. Right. And you know what? I think we were talking also about remember, Steve Javi, who was one of the greatest NBA refs of all time. But when I he agree. first came into the league, I remember I wrote a story, and players were calling him rabbit ears mm. because he heard everything, he reacted to everything mm -hmm. when he was a young referee. And then he, he became one of the best ever. And I think one of the things that's going on here, too, is they took Monty McCutcheon and put him in charge of these referees, which is a great idea. The problem is takes you took the, the best guy off the floor who was, I think, one of mm -hmm. the modern-day refs, one of the best at keeping things calm, understanding that players react, that it's an emotional game. But it's how much perfect. is it, OG, oh, they have to learn the players? And how much if it is, like, in an, you know, a teacher with a new group of students or, like, a young parent, like, it's sort of like, hey, I want to establish, if I'm sure. a new ref, I want to establish, it's I have It's a hard job. It's here. an impossible job. It's a tough job, so I'm going to do that, and then as time goes on, I'll, I'll let up. But the best little. referees in the game are the ones that the players can talk to. Right. Right. Hands down, like she said, Steve Javi, I can go up to him like Steve, man. I don't know Bob about Delaney, that call. Right, right. Bob Delaney, I don't know about that call. Mm -hmm. It's the way you come at them, and they'll listen to you, all right? I'll, we'll talk about it, and they move on. But these referees, if you can't talk to a ref, it, you, you're, you're never going to be a good ref with the players. You're never going to establish that. But some refs don't care. Right. But in fairness, I'll play devil's advocate just for a minute here for referees, young referees, too. I think players also come in with a little more swagger than maybe yeah. back in the day because yes. old school yeah, coaches I, I wouldn't agree. put up with that. Yep. And now today, so in fairness to those referees, you also don't want to be run roughshod no, over either that's my because point, when, yeah. you start, when you start out and you get that reputation, you're done. Right. So I, I can understand where the referees are coming from, too. But they at, this meeting during All-Star Weekend gonna is going to be very, very important. It'll be very forward. interesting to see them all get together during All-Star because you do think, Paul, right, if they could get, if they could have more of a conversational relationship, yeah. it won't escalate as much. Exactly. I don't know.